everybody, it's Beamer, and this week I'm going to do a room tour! So I had originally planned on doing an apartment tour, but the video just got so long. So make sure you like this video if you'd like to see an apartment tour next week or something, and I can do that for you. Pretty much all of the awesome pieces I have and all of the amazing decorations in my apartment uh, was put together by Cozy Cat, and I will link her Instagram in the description below. She is launching her blog this week, so make sure you follow her on Instagram to get all the details on that. Cozy Cat is also my mother. She's a passionate decorator. She has amazing taste. She's a collector of all things vintage. So I think you'd really, if you like what you see in my bedroom, you're gonna love all of her stuff. So make sure you follow her. Okay, let's just get started and take a look at my bedroom. So our bedroom is actually pretty small. Um, we have a vaulted ceiling on one side, so it makes it super hard with furniture, but we made it all work with my makeup area desk, a little sitting area, our queen size bed, two nightstands, and a dresser. So this is just what one side of the room looks like, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you shots of all the details, but this is the general room. It's not the general room, it is the room, so you can look at it all. Yay! <laughs> the first thing I'm going to talk about is this quilt. It's a hundred years old. It's on loan from Cozy Cat. The reason why I love this quilt is because it ties in all of my colors seamlessly. The navies, the reds, the pinks, the yellows, the oranges. I mean, everything just fits together perfectly. We hung it by buying little curtain loops at Bed Bath & Beyond and just nailed some nails in the wall and just hung the loops on that so there was no damage to the quilt. But this quilt really turns my vaulted ceiling into something that's not so atrocious to look at. And that's why I love this quilt. Next thing is my makeup desk. These are just some old tins. Some like old Avon tins from a thrift store. I really love vintage things like that. The lamps from a thrift store. The trays from a thrift store. And the wicker desk and the wicker mirror is on loan from Cozy Cat. And I love wicker. I just love white. Hi guys. And it works really well for what I need. This mirror is my favorite piece I have. I think I got it at a barn sale for like 30 bucks. It was perfectly aged. I love the color. I didn't have to paint it. And just having a huge mirror on my small wall in here makes my room look so much bigger. It reflects all the light beautifully. So this is by far my favorite piece. So this is what my little makeup station looks like. Um, it's next to my window so I get tons of natural light. I really enjoy having this because my bathroom is way too small so I have to have somewhere to do my makeup. Um, so yep, it's on a wicker desk and I keep all my makeup in that drawer and this is an old doctor stool that we just put um, a vintage linen on and it looks very Parisian to me. I love it. We used hankies to cover up the damaged part of this wicker and I love hankies. I just love the detail. It's just something small and cheap that really just adds a lot to your space. So here's another shot at my desk. All the little vintage details really makes things look extraordinary in such an average looking space. So that's what it looks like with the quilt on my wall and the huge mirror to reflect all that light. Here's another shot of that so you can see how the room works together. So I have this suitcase where I keep my books because I didn't have enough space for a bookcase in my apartment. I'm in some vintage hankies and original art by Haley Hartzog. Just a nice little reading space. Um, this headboard Luke and I found on the side of the road. I think it's for a king, but it fits our queen. I really, really love this headboard and it was free. These lamps I got at a thrift store for like five bucks and I got the hurricane lampshades also at a thrift store. The thing I love about these lamps is they take up zero floor space and Luke and I each have our own light, which is really nice. These are old windows that I found on the side of the road during a spring cleanup one year. And I just washed them up and then I found a vintage sheet that I liked. I actually think it was one of Cozy Cat's vintage sheets because she has a collection. And I staple gunned it to the back of these old windows and it makes for like a beautiful headboard piece um, or something right above the bed. And plus it was free and I love free stuff. This is my nightstand. It's just an old wooden table. I have a bird candle holder that I think is from Pier 1, some original artwork by Haley Herzog. This artwork special to Luke and I because it's the city that we were married in that she has written down there under the olives. And I have the books that I'm currently reading or trying to read, <laughs> some journals, and I keep my books up with a jar of rocks that I found at the lake over the summer. So it's just simple and over this nightstand I just used a vintage linen that I liked and I changed it out because I have um, lots of vintage linens and Cozy Cat loans me a lot 
Next to Luke's bed, he also has a vintage linen over an old tray though. And he has his cookbook next to his bed. <laughs> He's always reading a cookbook and a candle that was a gift from somebody. So this is just his simple nightstand. Like I said, I switch these vintage linen out all the time. Um, on my dresser, I have a beautiful mirror piece that my mother-in-law gave me. I love putting our toiletries that we need immediately right on there. I have a whiteboard that's keeping track of some medication that I'm on, just some cute little decorations, and a vintage lamp that I got from a thrift store. And this dresser, I think, was like $80 at a thrift store. It's a little more than I usually like to spend, but still a really good deal because these drawers are very deep and the mirror is huge and it gives us all the space we need because we only have one closet in this small apartment. This is our small closet. I just have a picture of Little Boy Blue on there. I got that at the same barn sale that I got my mirror at. I love the frame. I love the painting, even though I'm pretty sure it's a paint by number. <laughs> my curtains are on loan from Cozy Cat. They're just a beautiful pink vintage linen and I love the shears. I love that these curtains let all the light in that I need because in a small space it's important to have a lot of light coming in. Um, so these curtains are perfect. And this is the other side of our bedroom. And just so everyone knows, doing these voiceovers is actually really hard and I'm really out of breath right now. Oh. Don't stop, keep it going. So yeah, there is the dresser. <laughs> just gonna get real with you. Uh, we do not have a door to our bedroom, so we used a shower rod and hung an old sheet there. And I just used the ribbon that I used to tie back my wedding dress for right there so we can close it when we need privacy and keep it open during the day. So here is our bedroom. It's beautiful with the help of Cozy Cat. Thanks everybody for watching this video. Remember, you don't have to live in a huge brand new house and get all brand new stuff from Ikea and Target and Pottery Barn in order, Porter Barn? Porter Barn? Porter Barn. Pottery Barn in order to have a nice space. That is totally a lie. The character and the coziness comes from cute vintage things that cost like a dollar. So I hope that my space inspired you. And like I said, make sure you follow Cozy Cat for tons and tips. Tons of. Whoa, I cannot talk. Make sure you follow Cozy Cat for tons of tips and tricks to come. And I will see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe for the rest of my apartment tour in the month to come, hopefully. Okay, guys, bye.